In this demo, I am going to create a mashup for the earthquake relief scenario in Los Angeles using different kinds of data sources. This is the interface of Karma, our mashup building framework. The upper half area contains a dynamic spreadsheet that acts as a single interaction platform for working on the data that we retrieve during the mashup construction. The lower half area contains multiple tabs corresponding to the different operations in information integration and each tab provides further operations from which the user can select. Now, the first data source is going to be a comma-separated valued text file which contains a list of evacuation centers that have been set up for the earthquake relief. So to import data from the text file, I choose the text file tab under the import section and need to specify its path. Now based on the programming by demonstration approach, to import this data into my workspace, I just need to provide some example values from the data that I need to extract and Karma will automatically extract the remaining data, as we can see here. Now my second data source is going to be a database table that contains information about the coordinators for each city that supervise the emergency management in their corresponding city. To load a database table, I need to choose the database tab and Karma lists me all the database tables that are currently present on my local machine. I can simply load my database table by clicking on the load button. Now, my third data source is going to be the Google News website to gather the latest information regarding the earthquake in Los Angeles. In Karma, we extract data from web pages using wrappers. Wrappers are basically customized programs or procedures that are made using the third-party softwares like Fetch Agent Platform, Open Kapow, and they help us in extracting data from complex web pages. So, we create wrappers in our local machine using the commercial tool Fetch Agent Platform and Karma provides an easy interface to execute these wrappers and load the extracted data into the workspace. So, in our case, we created a wrapper for our Google News website and I can easily execute this wrapper right from the Karma. So, these are all the wrappers that are currently present on my local machine. And to execute the Google News wrapper, I need to provide the keyword search Los Angeles earthquake. And I can easily execute this wrapper and the extracted data will be loaded into the Karma workspace. Now my final data source is an Excel file that contains statistical information about the casualties and injuries that have occurred on a particular date. To load data from this Excel file Again, I choose the Excel tab and I need to specify the path to that file. Again, based on the programming by demonstration approach, to extract the data from this file, I just need to provide some example data to Karma by copying and pasting. And Karma will automatically extract the remaining data. Now suppose I want to get the information about the coordinator and their contact details for each of the city that I have in this table. For example, who is the coordinator for the city of Arcadia? Now this information is actually present in my second data source which lists all the coordinator details. This requires a join operation between these two data sources based on the city column. However, the second data source lists city data in a different manner. Each city name proceeds with a city of substring. Like here, it says city of Arcadia. However, first data source just says Arcadia. So, a join operation won't actually produce a result because of this ambiguity. 
so we need to do a data cleaning task on this first column to remove this city of substring to perform cleaning I choose the clean tab and I need to specify the column it opens up a new table for me to perform data cleaning and I only need to provide an example of how the final data should look like for example here I only need to provide Agora Hills for the city of Agora Hills and press enter and Karma automatically learns the transformation rules between the initial and final result it applied it rules to the remaining of the data and we can view the results we can choose to save the final result as the user defined values I can now save this data into a database now I can proceed with the join operation between these two sources to perform join I need to click on the integrate tab and press join button Karma automatically identifies the possible integration between the current sources and provides column completions based on that. As we can see here, Karma provides two column completions based on the possible join with source 2. Once I choose the option, Karma performs the join and produces the results in the workspace. If only one column completion is possible, it automatically fills the table as done here. Now once we are done with our data manipulation, we can now specify how to visualize our data in our final mashup output. For example, in source 3 with the news data, if I only want to view headlines and summary of the news article in a bulleted list, I need to choose the publish tab and Karma will display me 4 types of visualiz visualization formats that are possible for visualizing your output in Karma. If I need bulleted list formatting, I select some example data from the columns that I want to view and drag it to the list format. And Karma automatically generates a preview of how your data is going to look like in the final output. Similarly, if I want to create a chart out of this statistical data for better understanding, I again select some example data and drag it to the chart format. With the help of the semantic types that Karma generated for this data, it identified this data as dates. So it automatically generated a timeline chart from this data. Now once I am done specifying with my data visualization in final output, I can publish all this data into a geospatial mashup. Karma identifies these addresses and city data as potential geographic information using its semantic types. So it geocodes these addresses and places the markers in the final output as you are going to see when I publish the HTML. This is the data for my first evacuation center. This is the news articles, these headlines and the summary. And this is the chart that I got from my statistical data. This is my other evacuation center.